Hey guys, today is my birthday. And I will be throwing a big party. When I mean big, I mean really big. And what makes a party an awesome party? Food. Correction. Great food. And as you can see, I am the chef. And this is my guest list. And first on the list is my Punjabi friend Parminder Kaur. I guess she would want to have some chapatis and some dal makhani. And next on my list is my friend from Chennai, Venkatesh Ayer, who will like to eat sambar rice and potato curry. And here's my friend Jomol Kuti, who's from Kerala, who would want to eat some fish curry and some parota, which is a Kerala delicacy. And finally on my list is my friend from Manipur, Debilal, for whom I think a pizza would be good. I guess I know what to do next. So much to do and so little time. So now let's get this party started. I'm making a list of ingredients for the food for my big birthday bash. Here for the pizza toppings, we have cheese, tomato sauce, and let me add a few vegetables. I will add olives, baby corn, and onions. So, we are making sambar rice, for which we will definitely require rice and water. For the fish curry, we will definitely require fish, onions, ginger garlic, coriander, and turmeric powder. Let me also add ghee to it. Probably they will want to eat it with ghee. Hmm. Now, who would have ever thought that chapati and pizza base will have the same ingredients. Let's hit the road, go to the supermarket and get the party started. Finally, we have all the ingredients that we will require to make our great food. Hmm. But where do these ingredients come from? Supermarket? No. What if there was no supermarket where we could pick up all of these ingredients from? So, where do you think they actually come from? Hmm. Let's see if we can do some detective work to find our fresh ingredients to make all our food from by going to its original source. But where do you think we should start? Looking at all of these jumble of food that are spread on the table, we can in fact divide this food into plant-based and animal-based product. When I say plant-based, it obviously comes from a plant. And when I say animal-based, it is a part of an animal itself or something that's extracted from an animal. If we are looking at this food stuff out here, you will definitely say that the cabbage and the broccoli and of course the capsicum are all plant-based. And of course the rice, the sugar, the atta and the moong dal are all direct products of plants. And of course the fish, which is a meat, is an animal product. And what do you think about the eggs? Eggs are laid by chicken, which effectively means they are also an animal-based product. And what do you think about oils? Oils are mostly plant-based. The one that you see here, the sunflower oil, is definitely plant-based. And so is the mustard oil. 
both of it plant based and milk which is given by cows or other mammals are also animal based product so is paneer which comes from milk so is butter which comes from milk so is ghee which actually comes from milk all of these milk based products are also animal based products and what do you think about honey honey is coming from honey bees therefore it is an animal based product and almost all spices come from plants and therefore they are plant based and finally we have water and salt where do you think this comes from these in fact don't fall into either plant based or animal based they are naturally occurring and it's free of cost in nature now that we have classified our ingredients into plant based and animal based where do we go looking for these fresh ingredients why don't we start from the beautiful farmlands of india <laughs>